we're back in here, back in here for the meal, the meal, the meal. Wrestling, man. This, I was, so this is like a wrestling re retrospective, man. Because... <laughs> when, oh, I, I, don't know, I have to brush my belt, man. <laughs> you know, like, I always say to people that before I was into football or films, I wanted to be a wrestler. <laughs> yeah. So I had, like, <laughs> what I would wear. Basically, my thing was, like, I'd have, like, I think pink and purple trousers like Sean, 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 Sean Michael yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. I had my finishing move, my <laughs> entrance music, because basically, like, I'm the youngest in my family. Mm. And um, I had, like, big brothers, and we always used, used to do wrestling. Mm -hmm. So me and my brothers, we always used to wrestle and so forth. We had, like, our own Royal, Royal Rumble. Yeah. We had a thing like that. We had, like, our own, like, kind of, like, um, wrestling look. So we were obsessed with the stuff. So, see, my thing is, I left roundabout just after the Attitude Era ended, you know? Yeah. And my thing, because this was said about wrestling is like, when you were young, it literally was the greatest thing in the world mm -hmm. because you thought it was real. Yeah. And the amazing thing about wrestling is it marries my two things, which is sports and entertainment. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, these guys are actually doing athletic things and everything, but it's like live theater. Yeah. So it's like theatre, but it's a constant life story that keeps on evolving and going and going and going and going. So my thing is, do you still think that, I mean, what do you think? Because for me, I think there were two heights of wrestling. I think it was Hulk Hogan's era with WrestleMania and mm -hmm. so forth. And it was the Attitude Era with The Rock and Stone Cold. You know, because I've always, I think I'm really, the greatest wrestler is, is The Rock. Yeah. In terms of stage stage presence, um, wrestling skills, yeah, work, yeah. his promos, mm -hmm. and bro, you know, people may, may not know. It depends how 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 young you are. He invented Smack SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because because of things back, so SmackDown the segment. That was his phrase. That's that was his phrase. It yeah. came out through through the Rock. So, mm -hmm. what do you think was if we just say the golden age or the height of of wrestling? Uh, I think you hit the nail on the head. There was two golden ages for me as, as well. I think the Hogan era and Wrestle the birth of WrestleMania. Yeah. Um, and Hogan just being everywhere doing films. Bro, that guy was He was huge, huge for huge, wrestling. Huge. Without Hogan, there was... No. You know, it wouldn't... It wouldn't no, no, exist. he was, he was in the... Exist. I think it was him and Andre the yeah. Giants in the yeah. first WrestleMania, yeah. And, um, and then, yeah, as you said, the Attitude Era where it completely took a turn and became... Because yeah, before that, it was all character driven, and you mm. had all these like, you know, drinking milk and people walking to the and, and also USA, <laughs> Hustle, Jim Doug and all those kind of guys. Who, who inspired the Attitude Era? Uh, well, it was Vince McMahon, wasn't it? Who, who... WCW. Well, yeah, because they had to they had to go against. WCW, they had to but, um, because my thing to... because I remember like because because remember so it was when I was living in Switzerland. I remember like my good good friend Stuart was Australian. We were obsessed with mm. WCW because it was more adult. Yeah. Because the the ring was black. It had yeah. black ropes and everything, and they were, and like the NW were just this edgy kind of guys. Yeah, yeah. So oh, of course. Hogan again. Yeah. Hogan was yeah, yeah. Hogan was there, and he just like Hollywood Hogan. Yeah, yeah. It changed everything. Yeah. So WWF had to be like no. Because what I've always admired about Vince McMahon is that he reads the pulse of society. Mm. And remember, you're dealing with the late 90s, early 2000s, yeah. where more edgy films were being mm -hmm. released and people wanted stuff that was, that was pushing the envelope. Yeah. Um, all one was when GTA yeah. 3 came out. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, what yeah. the Attitude Era. Yeah, and that Attitude Era was just, for me as a, as a young youngster Bro. at the time, I was like mind blown. <laughs> you know, I, I remember being in like school walking around with a steel chair and doing the DX sign and all that kind Bro, of stuff. Bro, I remember yeah. I was, we went to the classroom one time and because basically like, <laughs> it's funny, you know, like in school we had like, those like the smart sets mm -hmm. and they used to call us the dumb sets. So I was in the dumb sets. So yeah. all we did was, was, was just fight. Basically in the, in the smart <laughs> sets, they, they basically read books. So yeah. quite, you go to the sets, cheers, guys are being thrown <laughs> through walls and everything. So basically, I, we, we, we went in, honestly, Rock was my guy. And I basically do like the people's elbow yeah. with the guy, and literally, like, I was like, it's like, it's like, bro, it was crazy. It was crazy. You know, I met the rock. Oh, I shit. Met, yeah, um, we were what? We just started college, and they were doing a meet and greet in HMV, Oxford Street. Oh, man. The rock, Vince McMahon, and Big Show. And oh, we well. queued up for about two hours Damn. To, to meet this guy. And I was with my friend Daniel, mm. and the queue went around the building. And then along the street. So yeah. There was a point where he was like, 
the queue was going this way and the queue was going this way and there's like yeah. a little gate here. Mm. And my friend Daniel's like, I'm gonna jump the queue, man. What? Like, no, man, don't, because we get kicked out. I was like, I'm gonna jump it. So he moved the gate and jumped in. Damn. And I was like too slow to do it with him. So I was like, no, I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> and then we carried on queuing, carried on queuing. And then there was a point where we got to like the side of this, this building or whatever. Yeah. And someone was like, ah, oh, it's the rock. They saw a car and said, well. everyone started charging towards the, the car. Yeah. So like, I was like with my boy Simon, I was like, just run forward and jump in the queue. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you know what I mean? So we ran forward, jumped to the queue, and this guy grabbed me. He's like, I've been here for three hours with my daughter. <laughs> You're not just... I was like, all right, bro. I was yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. 16 at the time or whatever. So we eventually get in. I've got all this stuff in my head, what I'm going to say to the rock. Yeah. And blah, blah. <laughs> I get up to him and I shake his hand. I go, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, okay, we we'll move on. I was like, oh, man, I met the rock and I couldn't even say what I wanted to say. And then the next day we spoke to Daniel at college and he didn't get in. Oh, where because where he jumped, it was the back of the queue. So he jumped oh out my jumped God to the back. In so by the time he got all the way back round, he couldn't get in. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes just, you know, it, <laughs> just wait even the time. If, even if it's, 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 yeah, be patient, man. Be patient, I know it's, it's a time to not be patient, but I tend to be, be patient. <laughs> no, but my thing, though, is because, basically, I went out of rest because I just felt that the WWE, look, I, 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 I don't, okay, I, I, I want to speak <laughs> on this. WWF and mm-hmm. WWE. Yeah. I remember walking through and seeing WWF and I said, wait, why is there a, a, a freaking panda on this yeah, whole thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And oh, World Wildlife Fund. I was like, wait, what, no, this is this, this yeah. wrestling and so forth. Why didn't you sue them all those years? Why did mm-hmm. you wait until the yeah, end point now to freaking sue yeah. them? So, and it's, it's like, I can't call it, even if it makes sense, I can't call it WWE because I'm like, first of all, it's just stupid. It's so iconic and it's so it's such a large part of my childhood, WWF. And it's just annoying that like, why didn't you just sue them? Way yeah. back then? Well it goes to show the power of the World Wildlife Fund, because you know, WWF was a juggernaut, you know. Um, but I think the WWE suits them. Oh, no 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 it does. Thing. No no no, no, no because I think that's what Vince McMahon said, like, um he basically embraced what they were. Yeah. Because when his father was doing it, mm-hmm. they were still trying to sort of so make it real and so and forth. Whatnot, so yeah. But Vince said, "No, no, no. We are okay. entertainment, yeah. so we have to build up the the stories and things and so forth." But my thing though is that is can it still can it still reach those heights? Because see, here's my issue. So I was I was watching some wrestling stuff recently now, and I was like, I admire how you're still keeping it relevant. Mm-hmm. But the issue is. You don't have the characters. Because what wrestling was, was this is who they are, but a enhanced version of what they were, because everybody was on droids and um, steroids and everything. <laughs> yeah. So my thing is that when you look at Macho Man, Big Boss Man, mm. Jake the, 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 the Snake, Ravishing Recruit, these guys were crazy. Yeah. And once you put them activated, they just, it just enhanced them. These guys I see aren't as mad and don't have the kind of larger than life character that, that those guys have. Yeah. So, I, mean, I think it's, it's changed. I think yeah. the problem that they had for a long period of time is that they went away from, once the Attitude Era had finished, they're like, right, what can we do now? And we've got these guys. Yeah. We've got them. Now we need to appeal to the next generation. And they went completely the other side and they went to the PG era and they Cena. saw Cena saying, you know, respect and all this stuff. Yeah. They, they played to the kids, which was huge. Yeah. Because, you know, they, they made a lot of money off that. And they didn't really have any opposition. Uh, and then they became stale mm. because they were just complete churning out the same thing, same thing, same thing. What they've done recently and in the last six months, especially pro wrestling has become huge again. Yeah. There's a buzz about it because yeah. of AEW, AEW, which is competition, competition. Yeah. And it, they are basically now really pressing WWE to make changes. And you've seen in the last few weeks, especially on WWE television, that they're starting to get it. Mm. And they're starting to push back, and there's some really good stories, some really good matches and stuff. Because there. see, I've I only watch seen clips, but not really mm. sat down and really watched like AEW. Like, how do you see AEW di- di- differentiates from WWE? So it's a much more adult product. Okay. They're, 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 they are appealing like to, like WCW, like what WCW was back in the day, uh, like the Attitude Era. They're yeah. going for that audience, mm. and they've it kind of because it's made by wrestlers. Mm, um, okay, okay. And the guy who owns it is actually the, the son of the man who owns Fulham, um, Jacksonville, um, Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh. Uh, Tony Khan. 
and he's a massive wrestling fan oh, okay, okay. in his life. And Cody Rhodes, you know, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, they all own mm, mm. the company. So as wrestlers themselves, yeah. they know what they would well, like well, to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they, they've made a product that is very adult. You know, they don't water anything down. Mm. It's, you know, there's, it's like what we saw back in the day, blood and guts. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Risky, risky kind of characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's forced WWE to kind of up their game. And I think it's very mm. healthy. The industry as a whole is in a very healthy place. Right and, and what I don't want is what WWE did. Mm. I'm going to call it WWF. Yeah. What WWF did. Because my thing is that WCW was great because you could now choose. Mm-hmm. But Vince McMahon didn't want any competition, so yeah. he eventually basically bought out um, w- Bishop, w- w- yeah. Eric, Eric Bishop, well, and, and, all, and all the dudes. Because for me, I was like, no, like, let's have it like this because WCW was free, it was totally different. It was darker, it was edgier, and it just had a little bit more thing. And WWF was brighter because maybe WWF's face was Sean from Michaels at the time, and he was the face of the whole thing. WCW was all the older guys from WWF, yeah. and of course, the face was Stink. Well, so, this is why WCW didn't work because they gave huge contracts to all these old WWF guys yeah. as a kind of one-up on WWF. Um, and then they were run into the ground by people like Vince Russo who were just egomaniacs and wanted to write themselves into stories. Mm. And everyone was like, this is trash, I'm not watching yeah. this. And then eventually Ted Turner was like, I can't keep bankrolling this. Yeah. This is rubbish. Sold it off to someone who didn't really know about wrestling. Yeah. And then it all just kind of just fell apart to the point where Vince could afford to buy it. Yeah. And once he'd done that, all he was going to do is say like, I've won, I'm going to bury you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just kind of bury the legacy of, of WCW. It, yeah, because cause my thing is like, it's like, I look at the the roster, because see, I need to look into AEW to see what the guys are like, because I've not really looked at because I've just looked at but I want to like, go to YouTube to see what the guys are like. So, I'm just looking at this WWF guys and I'm like, they're no characters. Mm-hmm. Like they're no. So even you no, know, these guys are. They have the, the the body. They um. They fight really well. The ring presence. But my thing is, he, Hulk Hogan was a trash wrestler. <laughs> he was garbage. Yeah, he was garbage. But he was such an amazing character. Yeah. He brought so much drama yeah. into he his, his, his matches. He, he was a yeah, star. He was so was a star. So my thing is, I look at these guys and like. Even for instance, you have the I don't even know what, what they call. Is it New Day? Like New the Day, like, yes. yeah. I'm like okay, they obviously did more comedic and stuff. And everything. I'm like okay, but where is the Jake the Snake? Where is the Undertaker? Where is mm-hmm. the kind of kind of like the ans- they try to do it to like CM Punk? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's cool, see, but it's I, like I, will, it does, see, I wasn't it there for the CM Punk. When he was the biggest thing in wrestling. Oh no no no, oh, no 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 no! I was oh I was gone but, way before. I was gone way I, before. I've, seen what people have said I've seen clips of him and I know mm. he's a great wrestler yeah and I think this is the way that that pro wrestling is going now is you, if you can't go in the ring yeah you're not going to make it it's not you couldn't be Hulk Hogan now oh, you know you um, have to be able to back it up and actually give great matches um great move sets like you know like promos. basically it's like Randy Orton is a very good example yeah. Yeah. very good, very good. Um, ring presence right. very good wrestler but the character is not really there so, so you oh, no, you're Randy really, Orton's a brilliant Character. It's just when they try and make him a good guy. Randy oh, yeah. is not. He's 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 an evil. Yeah, man. Even the heel, the heel, the <laughs> heel. So, um, but I think there are like Roman Reigns is probably the best thing in wrestling all, oh, yeah. altogether. Oh, you know, he's he's the rock's cousin, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he he's brilliant. Um, for a long time, the fans booed him because they were trying to like push him down our throats as a good. Yeah, guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he went away and came back as a bad guy, and he's been the best thing in wrestling for the best part of the year. Yeah, yeah. Um, so outside of him, yeah, WWE are struggling to build stars of that level whereas AEW they have stars which have massive fan bases from the independent scene is, is Chris Jericho in AEW? Chris Aid? Jericho is in AEW oh, okay okay yeah um, yeah 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 he's a, he was a big reason for them to to, to grow uh, mm. he's really an influential behind the scenes Jim Ross is on commentary <laughs> you know he's still going <laughs> like, so, what? Oh, yeah, oh my god yeah. what? <laughs> yeah I mean he's got dementia now pretty much but oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but no the, the in-ring product is why yeah. AEW so good and the fact that they're not afraid to push buttons and not yeah. afraid to yeah. you know um, be a little bit controversial and stuff mm. like they're allowed to say they're given a lot more creative freedom on the mic yeah. and stuff like that yeah. um, but it's just a brilliant product brilliant product and it's really pushing WWE so wrestling's in a healthy place so, so, so if you just say 
if I just pick one, I know this is tough, your best wrestler of all time, favorite wrestler of all time. You know who my favorite wrestler, everyone liked The Rock, everyone liked Stone Cold, mm. and I love those guys? Yeah. I like Triple H. I was a big Triple H fan because he was evil, and he was good at it. So, was it because of is it the DX era with Shawn Michaels and I liked and so the forth? DX era, and then I liked what came after that when he became the game. I just liked oh, the, game. the fact that the he game. would do whatever he had to do. To remain at the top. Very good finishing move. Yeah, very I'd good agree with my favourite finishing, very good finishing move. move as well. Um, but yeah, also got the wrestling show on MAD Sports Network every uh, Friday at uh, 15. <laughs> Check that out. The oh, you didn't know wrestling show. Uh, yeah. um, no, 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 I mean, no, like, I mean, I think that the greatest wrestler of all time is still The Rock. I think he's the most. Inf- Who do you think was more influential, The Rock or Hulk Hogan? That's, yeah, I, I would say Hulk Hogan. At the time, because I think Dwayne Johnson is more influential than The Rock. Would there be a Dwayne Johnson without The, the Rock? There wouldn't be. But I don't think if he remained as The Rock, I don't think he'd be as big as he is now. But I think Dwayne Johnson literally has a career because of The Rock. Oh yeah, no, he's he does. he's not he a does. very good actor. Like his acting is basic, and I think because literally all of his fans. Mm are from The Rock. So I think that he was so... F- Cause look, this guy, do you know how many of his films have actually failed at, at the box office? But because mm. people love The Rock so much, they're like, I don't care how much it feels, we love him so much, yeah. we'll keep on giving you money. So, I mean, I mean, <laughs> look, Hulk Hogan, I think, was super influential. The Rock was a difference, man. Because I think yeah. The Rock is... It's a difficult one, man. It's, that's a tough question. It's, it's a tough one because Hulk Hogan was... The guy. Yeah. But I just think that The Rock's influence, The Rock was like cultural. Yeah. Because he did things that guys did in school. Mm-hmm. So what he, his influence, like guys talked like, like The Rock, yeah. we cracked jokes like, 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 like The Rock. So he, when you were young and so forth, you just wanted to emulate what yeah. he was about. Yeah, so yeah. he was influential. We see Stone Cold. Man, that was an error, man. Stone, Stone Cold, Cold, Stone the Rock, Cold man. was a superhero to a lot of people. Like my friend who I do the wrestling show with, yeah. his son's first, his first child <laughs> is called Austin. <laughs> yeah, he was such a big... Sh- 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 wait, what does 316 mean? So it, it's a verse from the Bible and he used it in his King of the Rings speech. It, well, he, I mean, change it. Yeah. Austin 316 means yeah. I just whooped your ass. Oh, so okay. He said it as if like... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The person he... he I can't remember who it was who he beat. He used to read Bible uh, verses as these promos. So he flipped big, it. Big Boss Man? Yeah, I don't know if it was Big Boss Man. So not Big Boss Man. I, mean, I don't know what it was. It was well, they it was used big... to say like Bible verses or whatever yeah, yeah, as part yeah. of their promo. So he's like, well, Austin 360 yeah, yeah. means I just whooped your ass. And that kind of just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just on, 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 like, no, Stone Cold was... Cause I remember... Um, this was, guys, this was back during dialogue. This was way before, bro. This was back during dialogue, like in our, in our IT room. So we had to wait 3,000 years for a, a page to run up. And you had, like, this was before they the, the fought, I think, for the first time. So you had, like, the Smoking Skull and the Brahma Bull. Yeah, yeah, and they had to vote for who you think yeah. would win. And the build up of that fight, like, the build up of that fight was insane. Yeah. Insane. Yeah, yeah. Wrestling was, uh, uh, and you know what I always find quite funny when people are like, you know, wrestling's fake. Like, yeah, well, you know, there's movies you watch. 